Houghton here at the American Digital Network studio where we continue our summer football preview series, taking a close look at the Memphis Tigers. Memphis has enjoyed its best two-year stretch in program history with a combined 19 wins since the start of the 2014 season. Along the way, the Tigers have set attendance records at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium and were ranked as high as number 13 in the college football playoff ranking. First-year head coach Mike Norvell hopes to not only maintain the Tigers' status among college football's top teams, he expects to take Memphis to the next level. Before taking over in Memphis, Norvell was one of the nation's top offensive coordinators, helping Arizona State put up eye-popping numbers. He won't have to rebuild at Memphis as a veteran roster enters the 2016 season hungry for a conference title and New Year's Bowl. The biggest question for Memphis will be how the Tigers respond to the departure of record-setting quarterback Paxton Lynch, an early entry to the 2016 NFL Draft, who was taken in the first round by the Denver Broncos. But Norvell has quality depth on the offensive line with four of five starters returning and a proven running back in Doralyn Dorsius. That should make life easier for junior college transfer Riley Ferguson, who was the early favorite to take over at quarterback. On defense, the Tigers' strength should be up front with the return of 10 of their top 11 linemen from last year. Memphis also has one of the nation's best special teams units with Lou Grauza award finalist Jake Elliott handling the place kicking, while first team all-conference punter Spencer Smith returns as well. And to take a closer look at Memphis, we have a guy who loves the Tigers on the phone with us. Brian Moss from Tiger Sports Report joins us. That's up next. Has hit deep to left center, and that is over the wall and gone. There it is, fly ball deep to left field. This one is gone. And it wasn't an easy road to get here. No, no question. They had to go through Cincinnati, Temple, and Memphis. Through the Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on the ADN. We're breaking down Memphis football today and are joined on Skype by the publisher of Tiger Sports Report, Brian Moss. Great to have you on the show again. I know Memphis fans are excited to see how different the Tigers are going to look this season with Paxton Lynch gone and with Mike Norvell at the helm. Let's start off by talking about Coach. What have you noticed about his style that is maybe different from Justin Fuentes? Well, he's really come in and, you know, talked to the kids about the mental aspect of the game. Uh, you know, Coach Fuente did a great job building a foundation. And so Coach Novell's coming in trying to build up on that. Um, so he's really honing in on the mental aspect of the game because there's, uh, you know, a couple of games at the end of the last season where there were some mental breakdowns. So Coach Novell and the new staff are really trying to hone in on that. Paxton Lynch drafted in the first round of the Denver Broncos after his junior season. Quite a bit of experience, though, returning on offense. But the question mark is the quarterback position. How is that coming together? It's a good battle. Uh, Brady Davis and uh, Riley Ferguson are really battling out uh, you know, in the spring. And so far in, in the fall, Riley has uh, separated himself. Even though Coach Norvell hasn't named a starter, I think you'll see Riley Ferguson uh, named the starter uh, pretty soon. Mike Norvell undoubtedly ran an extremely prolific offense at Arizona State. Does that seem to fit the personnel he inherited? Uh, uh, yeah, it does, because uh, he has, uh, you know, he inherited a lot of athletes uh, that can do uh, multiple of things. Um, so, I mean, th the offense will be different, but uh, but a little bit the same. I, I think I think you'll the Memphis fans will be excited about what they see, because so far in fall camp, uh, it's been it's been exciting to watch. On defense, there's a veteran group of linemen returning, but what does that group look like as a whole heading into the fall? It's definitely more mature. Um, you know, Arthur Millette is having a really good uh, – they had a really good spring, and he's having a, a very good uh, fall camp so far. Um, Jonathan Cook is coming in. Uh, you'll see him at safety. He's doing real good. So this, this uh, defense has really come together and matured over last season. 
This team had a historic beginning to their season last year, and it didn't close out in the same fashion it started in. What does this group have to do to surpass last season's success? I think you'll see them just uh, continue some of the same, like, you know, to take it one game at a time, not looking ahead. Uh, you know, being ranked, uh, I think they were 13th in the country, uh, you know, at one point that, that was new to them. So I think it, it may have gotten to their heads a little bit. So I think that just the experience from that uh, will really, you know, propel them, uh, you know, going forward. All right. Thanks a lot, Brian, for giving us a closer look at what's been going on in Memphis. Brian's obviously on the road, but just to clarify, he's not driving. So thanks a lot, Brian. Not yet. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, here's a look at the Tigers' first four games of the 2016 season. Week one, they open up at home against Southeast Missouri State and will then have an early bye week, but will remain at home for games against Kansas and Bowling Green. Then it's the game I'm sure most Memphis fans have circled on their calendars, a chance to capture a big win just down the road at Ole Miss. Thanks for tuning in with us here at the ADN. I'm Haley Outen.